This is a Techniques SAGX670. I bought this as a parts machine. Uh, as you can see, the surface has a couple little blemishes. I'll try to highlight those in the video here. I took some pictures as well. But overall, it's a nice looking machine. Um, fan works. Uh, these are all working nice and clean, crisp. Um, I've got it connected to CD right now. Um, FM works. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and press the power. You can hear it kick on. I believe this is as 80 watts per channel. Uh, comes with a remote control. And you'll see you can go up and down with it, which is cool. Let's go ahead and listen to the CD first real quick. And I picked a little bit of a weird sound. CD, but I tried to choose something that was a little bit off the beaten track so that it wouldn't be hit by Let's get another CD sound there's some not very good songs, are they? To kind of show you what it's about. Some... Oh, that sounds so good. So now we can go to Tuner. Different modes. Oh, it's two mode. As you can see, you just kind of do that and it goes back and forth, which is cool. Uh, lock. Just locks it in. So if you hit it, um, this is a good. I really actually kind of missed my GX. <laughs> 690, that's okay. I have, I got a denim. Um, so it works, it has old, old Dolby Pro Logic. Um, so be aware that it's not gonna be, it's a class H plus, whatever that means. I don't think it means much anymore. And um, it's a good unit. Comes with the remote, comes with the cord, comes with everything you see, the fan works. Um, on the back, so it keeps it cool. 80 watts per channel in stereo, I believe. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's a total of 280 watts. Let's see if you can see that even. Total of 280 watts. So 280 divided by 2 would be, um, oh Jesus, 140 watts per channel, I guess. And then divided by 4. Uh, 5.1, I think, is 80 watts per channel. Since it's a, it was a H. It was this, you know, this is a um, home theater system. So I guess that's why they divided it up into 80. But it is a great machine. That's it.